So another new feature of Shoemaker 2013 is the midsole editor. What I've got on the screen is just a simple cork shoe and I'm going to add the high heel shoe sole. As you can see, when the sole is applied, the upper panels connected to the sole are recreated and bridge the gap between the bottom of the last and the sole unit. Now, to access the midsole editor, we double left click on the sole itself, and this brings up the editor dialog box. So, as before, we can change the thickness at the toe region and the heel region and I'll quickly demonstrate by making the heel distance at 2 and keeping the toe at 4 and we can see a blend between the two when we press OK. OK, so this area here is reduced, this has stayed the same and the distance between it is blended between the two. If I double click on the sole unit again we have something called the lateral distance from the feather edge. Now this can be a constant, at the moment it's constantly 4. However, if we clicked on positions along the uh, sole, so for example if I want to click at the toe, I get a 2 location. So I have a location 1, so at the heel I would probably want to in reality fade this out to maybe say 1 millimeter, and at the toe maybe keep that around 3. So if we OK that, we should expect to see the heel area thinned out and the toe area wider. So if we double click on the editor again, we can add more points if we wish, or we can delete points. We can't delete point 1 because that's the origin point, but we can select a particular point like this and delete. The next feature is the um, filling material thickness which affects the vertical distance from the last so if we were to increase this value for example if I exaggerate the value and call it 5 millimeters and select OK we're expecting a vertical drop of the sole unit and heel and this gap bridged when it recreates the upper panel like so. If we double click again, we seem to have, my deleting the back part has reduced the distance. So if we up that to 3, select an area to create a secondary area, again up this to say 4, and the final option on this dialog box is to create curves to trace the pieces so we can trace the curves around the edges and this is particularly used if, when going into advanced functions of Shoemaker Pro and in Shoemaker Pro you could use these curves to then project and create other features on the sole unit if I select this we can see the lines Okay. 